It's called convex combinations of vectors. So here's this little subroutine which I'm, I'm talking about. You have two vectors given, like this, OA and OB, and you have a point C in between. It's a point which splits your segment in particular proportion. So you have m parts here, and you have n parts here. The question is, what will be the expression for the c vector? Of course, it's, it's, it's a rather easy manipulation how to find that, but the answer, which we will find in, in, in two minutes, it's something worth remembering, because when we start doing this, when we start applying this sort of routine one, two, three, four times in a row in this question, it will pay off. It will save us time. So how are we going to go about this general question when we, when we have a splitting of a segment in proportions m to n, and we need to find the ac vector? Basically, it's a, this particular question is individual little subroutine. It's an easy question to answer. First, I have to observe that, for instance, ac vector and ab, they connected by this scaling relation. Right? I, have to, I have to shrink my AC vector by m times, and I have to shrink my AB vector by m plus n times, and that will be the single unit which fits m times in here and n times in here. If I now solve here, for instance, for... If I solve here for AC... If I solve here, for instance, for AC... That's how it will look. So the AC vector, this vector, it is a little bit shorter than a, well, it's shorter than AB because this fraction, in fact, if you look carefully this fraction, you have two positive integers. Uh, the denominator here larger than the numerator, so the fraction actually less than one, so it is indeed a shrinking. And now if you want to find the OC vector, all you have to do, you have to add this OA and this AC. And that will be the OC vector after addition. The AB vector, it's a difference of B and A. That's the expression for the AB vector. So first we found the OC vector by adding up the OA and AC. That's the result for that. Now for the AB, for the full length of this segment, for the full length of this segment, I have to subtract a vector, that's my A vector, that's my B vector. I have to subtract A from B, here it is. If I now sub this into here, that's the kind of expression I will have. Yeah, it's just a little substitution. We can do a bit of a simplification here. If I do that, that's the kind of expression I will have. And that's the final result, which I encourage you to remember. Listen to this. If I want to find a vector which points to a point splitting a segment in a given proportion, all I have to do, I have to take this combination of A and B, where B is factored by, we see B vectors here, and it is factored by the M parts here. So the more parts we have here, the more B will be contributing to the OC vector, because the more of B will be present here. This M will be larger. Another way to write this is like this. People often write it like this. They write like this. One take alpha times B vector plus alpha times A vector, where alpha is the fraction like this, N. Oops. That one take alpha is the fraction like this. It's m on m plus n. So in fact, the factor next to the b is one take alpha, and the factor next to the a is alpha. And the combination like this, combinations like this, are normally called convex combination. That's the reason for the title 